My name is Leslie. I'm a portrait photographer based in Sydney, Australia. Started out as a hobby, but I think professionally I've been shooting for about six to eight years, give or take. I have been shooting with Fujifilm since they first released the X-T1, actually. I then moved on to the X-Pro2, and I've always wanted to shoot with medium format cameras. And so when the GFX 50 first uh, released, I jumped on board, I took the plunge. And from the 50, I then moved to the 100 and the 100S. My style is heavily influenced by previous great photographers such as uh, Helmut Newton, Herb Ritz, even Annie Leibovitz. So my approach to photography is that I like to tell a story with a single frame. And since I focus on portraiture, it's about telling my subject story. The key features of this new iteration, the speed. It is much faster, especially when it comes to the autofocus and tracking. I think that is a huge leap forward from the, the existing 100 and the 100S. In my line of work, some of my clients, they demand print and with the 102 megapixel sensor, I'm able to produce results that contain a lot of detail. Being so familiar with the GFX system, I more or less know what I see in my mind and what I create in real life. The camera will have no trouble picking it up. It's down to muscle memory that I can very quickly utilize the functions and settings and uh, ensure that we get the right pictures we need to get. I'm not left wanting with the image quality that they can produce. I know that when I bring it back to post, even if, God forbid, I make a few mistakes here and there, I have the latitude and flexibility to either you know, bring detail out of the shadows, lessen the highlights, and yeah, get that right exposure. The GFX 100 Mark II, it's about the same size as a full-frame DSLR, which is amazing in that regard, because you're, you're not having to deal with any extra weight or bulk so it's, you can handhold it all day and no issues there. With the GFX100 Mark II, apart from the eye and the human tracking autofocus, they have an AI feature where you can specify the type of target you want to track. All the way from animals to birds, planes and cars. The, the GFX100 Mark II is quite modular. You're able to take off the EVF and attach the swivel adapter from the original GFX100. So that allows you to alter the plane of view of your actual EVF itself. And you don't have to just only rely on the LCD screen. Another thing that really stood out to me is just the small little things. This is some of many small things. The, the ergonomics, the type of material they use to line the surface of the camera that gives you that extra grip. The way they angle the top plate, it's, it's a very small gradient, but it faces towards the user. And just when you look down at the screen, you're able to read and understand the information straight away. With the GFX 100 Mark II, it's very flexible. You're not just constrained to in-studio work. You can very easily use it on location to capture a wide range of subject matter. Naturally, with its high megapixel count, it can very easily handle uh, landscape photography. With its responsiveness and speed, it is better able to handle street photography wedding photography, and with the new video capabilities, it is truly becoming more of a hybrid camera.